In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you an installation and how-to guide on ExpressVPN for your Amazon Fire TV or Amazon Fire TV Stick. And quickly, just before I get stuck in, if you are looking to get started with ExpressVPN, then don't forget to check out the massive discount link down below in the video description. Let's get started. So when it comes to using VPNs for your Amazon Fire Stick, they're incredibly powerful tools, especially if you're going to be using them for TV shows and movies. So if you are going to be using them for third-party apps on your device, uh, being able to kind of make your identity anonymous is very important, especially if you're looking to hide your activity from your internet service provider. And secondly, if you're looking to access uh, geo-blocked versions of content on Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney+, Plus, then using a VPN is also a great tool on how you can kind of handpick different catalogs of content. So the first thing you want to do to get started with ExpressVPN is to first go ahead and download the app onto your Amazon Fire TV. And that's very easily done just by going to the navigation menu up the top here, go all the way over to the left hand side. And then this is the search area. So this is where you can go ahead and download apps onto your Amazon Fire TV. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in the first couple of letters of ExpressVPN. So I'll just put in E and then X. And as soon as I do that, I get the recommended app just here. So I'll just go ahead and click on this one. So my screen is a bit different as I actually already have the app downloaded. However, if you don't have it downloaded, there'll just be a little download icon. It's a yellow download symbol, so you just want to go ahead and click that one. That will just take a couple of moments to download, and then it will go ahead and install onto your Amazon Fire TV. So the next thing you have to do is to go ahead and create an account with ExpressVPN. So if you haven't already done so, um, you can check the link down below in the video description and that will actually take 35% off the total price. So there's different pricing structures when it comes to um, getting started with ExpressVPN. I believe they have the monthly plan, uh, the six monthly and the yearly plan. So the longer you do sign up for, the cheaper it ends up being per month. However, you do have to pay a little bit more upfront as you are paying in a kind of lump sum. So from my own personal experience, I um, signed up for the one year plan, as it actually does work out to be cheaper in the long run. So once you go ahead and sign up with ExpressVPN, you'll have your email address and password that you decide. So once you have those kind of in your head or saved somewhere, you can then go ahead and open up the ExpressVPN app. So I'll just go ahead and do that now. Now this is what you'll be greeted with once you go ahead and sign in with your username and password. Um, this is kind of the front page of ExpressVPN on the Amazon Fire TV Stick. It's a very simple and easy to use um, interface. Um, I've used about half a dozen um, VPNs on the Amazon Fire TV Stick. And from my own personal experience, I would say um, ExpressVPN is definitely by far the most simplest one that I've personally used. Um, so yeah, this is what you'll be greeted with. Right here you have the big satisfying red button that you can go ahead and click. And if you go ahead and click on that one, that will connect you to the fastest server closer to your location. Um, so this is a really awesome trick, especially if you're going to be using third party apps on your Amazon Fire TV and you're looking for really fast speeds that will kind of also hide your IP address um, as well. And alternatively, if you're looking to search for a particular city or country that you would like to connect to, that's also very easily done just by clicking on this big uh, rectangular box here. So go ahead and click on that one. So once you're here, you now have kind of a drop down menu where you can just simply scroll down and see various kind of popular locations that people like to connect to. Or alternatively, you can go over to all locations, click on that one, and then you can kind of navigate between certain regions such as Asia Pacific, um, the Americas, Europe, Middle East and Africa. Or alternatively, you can go to the little search icon on the top right hand corner. And then you can actually refine your search to a particular city um, that you would like to connect to. So in this instance, I can go ahead and just type in maybe New York. Just type that one in. Go next. And this will go ahead and give me locations in the United States um, kind of close to my search query. So I've got New York, New Jersey, and some various other servers as well. So I'm going to go back to the home menu. Um, now before I go ahead and connect to a server, I'll just go ahead and show you guys a couple of the settings that you can adjust in the ExpressVPN app on the Amazon Fire TV Stick. 
And that's very easily done by navigating to the hamburger menu on the top left hand corner. So I'll go over there, go to settings, and then also while you're here, you also have some account settings, um, help and support, privacy and security tools as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on settings. And right here, you actually have some really awesome options that you can select from the get-go, um, such as auto connect. So for whatever reason, if your internet drops out or the VPN drops out, this will go ahead and automatically connect you to the next best server that they can find. So this means that your IP address is always kept private even if your internet does drop out. So if you are going to be using this for third party apps, then this is maybe a very important thing that you would like to consider. So say for example, I wanna go ahead and turn this one on, click on that one, and then I can go ahead when Android uh, starts up or when joining the network. So I can just go ahead and when Android starts up. So this means that whenever I go ahead and open up the Amazon Fire TV stick, this will automatically connect me to ExpressVPN. So if I go back, we also have some other settings um, such as network protect protection, split tunneling, VPN protocol, and so on. So I'd mainly leave these as the automatic ones that come out of the box. Um, however, if you're looking to do the auto connect, then you can go ahead and press that one. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and connect to a server using ExpressVPN. So I've got my settings organized. I've selected the location that I would like to connect to. So pretty much all I need to do now is go ahead and just select this red button. Go ahead and click that one. And as you can see guys, we're getting the um, progress bar. And now this is highlighted in green. And this just notifies me that the entire Amazon Fire TV stick is now kind of fully encrypted, private, and also connected to an American based server. And also as a side note, um, you can also use the same account for your mobile device, whether that's your iPhone or Android device, your computer as well. So this one account also does allow you to stream um, kind of multiple different versions of Netflix and also other platforms on your other devices as well. So that's just an extra thing to keep in mind if you are kind of really into your content and you kind of do watch content on the go as well. So now that I'm connected, I can now go back to whatever kind of app that I'm looking to use, whether that's a third party app or maybe Netflix. So in this case, I'll just go ahead and open Netflix. And I'm actually located outside of the United States. So for myself personally, I'm not able to access the American um, version of Netflix. However, when I go ahead and use a VPN like ExpressVPN, I can go ahead and unlock this version uh, of Netflix. And just to show you guys how powerful ExpressVPN is, I'll just go ahead and search for a TV show that is not available in my country. And I'll go ahead and search for Office. So as you can see guys, I now have the Office TV show available. So I can just go ahead and select on this one. And then I can go ahead and play various episodes. So there you have it guys, that's a really quick and simple way on how you can get started with ExpressVPN on your Amazon Fire Stick or Amazon Fire TV. And again, if you are looking to get started with ExpressVPN, don't forget to check out the massive discount link down below in the video description. And also, if you've got any questions about getting started with ExpressVPN on your Amazon Fire TV, accessing geo-blocked content or downloading third-party apps, then feel free to comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. And also, if this video has helped you, then please smash that like button. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.